now that one dish that is every Maharashtrian's favorite, which is pohe. Anybody's house you go to, you can make pohe in 10 minutes. This is a home item. Which you're eating oh, now. this you make at home. So show show me any restaurant you are eating udon udon sir. Meri hisab se, patata vada without the pav tastes better than a vada pav. Controversial statement. I become an expert. I can come and work in your restaurant, huh? तो मैं पहुंच गया हूं दादर क्योंकि सुबह सुबह भूख लगी है और इस एपिसोड में हम करने वाले हैं ब्रेकफास्ट लेकिन हम ब्रेकफास्ट कंपेयर करने वाले हैं साउथ इंडियन ब्रेकफास्ट वर्सेस महाराष्ट्र ब्रेकफास्ट और महाराष्ट्र ब्रेकफास्ट के लिए वीव कम टू दादर दादर नियर द स्टेशन ऑन द वेस्ट साइड बिकॉज हेयर इज द बेस्ट पटाटा वड़ा वाला बट बिफोर दैट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू अ लिटल स्टोरी यू नो आपको ऐसे लगता होगा कि मैं बचपन से ही मोटा हूं लेकिन मैं बचपन में पतला था यहां आता था और इस गली ही में मैं मोटा हो गया हूं बिकॉज वेन आई वॉज द ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड आई टू कम हेयर फॉर ट्यूशन पिंगे क्लासेस एंड आई टू पंक क्लासेस एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ अटेंडिंग क्लासेस आई वुड वॉक डाउन द स्ट्रीट एंड आई गेट दिस अरोमा ऑफ बटाडा वड़ा इट वॉज श्री कृष्णा ऑफ बटाडा वड़ा and that's exactly where we're going today to eat batata vada from my youth and the batata vada that is responsible for all this wonderful body that i have so come let's go and first taste maharashtrian breakfast batata vada kothimbir wadi and poha aur fir aap dekho is episode mein aur khane mein kya hai This lane in Dadar West is iconic because one, Shri Krishna is nearly 80 years old and it's right next to Chabilda school where anybody who's watched Marathi theatre in Mumbai will know. Iconic plays have been performed here, iconic theatre groups have been formed here and I think Shri Krishna Banada Vada has supported all that and supported me. <laughs> So this is my Maharashtra breakfast, full Maharashtra breakfast. Normally, people only eat poha or eat sabudana wada, but I've asked everything. Because you have to compare that which is Maharashtra breakfast and South Indian breakfast is better breakfast. So, I'll show you what I'm going to do on the table. Let's start from this side. I'm starting from here. This is the most famous Maharashtra breakfast dish that you can find, which is sabudana wada. Okay, sabudana wada. And uh, over here at Shri Krishna, they make fantastic sambudana vada. This is another Maharashtrian speciality. It's a kothimbir vadi. It's a sort of steamed and fried uh, vadi, vadi made out of uh, coriander, dhania and besan. This is the famous, the most famous batada vada. And I'm going to tell you a little secret. Okay? Log, logo ko lagta hai ke Bombay ka ya Mumbai ka se favorite dish hai vada pav. Lekin, meri hisab se, patata vada without the pav tastes better than a vada pav. Controversial statement. Controversial statement, but kya karu? I have to tell you what I believe. This is what I think. Ke vada pav se behetar hai patata vada. Aur mein shurwaat usi se karne wala hu. Oh, it's a pouty little thing. Beautiful aloo ki sabzi inside. Methi ke dhane hai. Kadi pattan, hari milch, aur bahar besan. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah? Very nice. 
उसके साथ हरी मिर्च अब कोथिंबीर वड़ी मुलायम सॉफ्ट मसाले लगभग जो बनाना वड़ा के मसाले हैं ना वैसे ही हैं लेकिन अलग ही फ्लेवर है क्योंकि इसे पहले स्टीम करके देन दे फ्राई दिस नाउ दैट वन डिश दैट इज एवरी महाराष्ट्र फेवरेट विच इज पोहे एनी बडीज हाउस यू गो टू यू कैन मेक पोहे इन टेन मिनट्स एंड दैट इज वाई दिस डिश इज आई थिंक द आइकॉनिक महाराष्ट्र ब्रेकफास्ट But you have to eat pohe in two ways. First, put limbo on it, and second, little secret. I like sev or bujia on top of poha, and that is why I always carry a packet of bujia with me. I'll show you. Bika ji, bika neeri bujia, and this is what you do. You put your hand in, and. Lovely. And before you eat the poha, mix, mix, mix. Oh, so you got poha, which is soft, with peanut and this bujia. Which is slightly spicy, crunchy, fresh, and adds another texture to the poha. Is there hurry milk ham, or when you sprinkle bhujia on top, bika jis, bika neeri bhujia? It literally transforms the poha into another thing. Fabulous. Abhi. क्या ट्राई करें क्योंकि मैं पोहा खा रहा हूं ये एक क्रिएशन है इनका और कहीं मिलता है मुझे पता नहीं लेकिन पोहा का समोसा है ये देखिए थोड़ा मीठा है हम्म Lovely. So this bika ji, bika ne ri bhujia. I can put it on anything. Kisi bhi cheez ke saath, kisi bhi khane ke upar ab dal sakte hai, aur apna khud ka dish bana sakte hai. My bhujia, my way. Sabda bada. Classic. महाराष्ट्र ब्रेकफास्ट तो ये था हमारा महाराष्ट्र ब्रेकफास्ट ठीक है साबुदानो वड़ा कोथिंबीर वड़ी बटाटा वड़ा पोहा समोसा एंड पोहा विथ भुजिया ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट एक लास्ट बाइट लेता हूँ और फिर जाते हैं माटुंगा जहाँ बेस्ट साउथ इंडियन ब्रेकफास्ट मिलता है चलो I promised you a really, really good South Indian breakfast, and I'm sitting now inside Anand Bhavan. With me is the owner, Haridas Nayak, huh? And uh, he's a very special man because there's a lot of passion that he has put into this food. This restaurant is nearly 90, 80 years old, 1946, correct? 1946. So one year before independence, like the Sri Krishna Banana Vada, which was also one year before independence. So now. We did not want to, sir, order just normal idli dosa. We said that Anand Bhavan has a lot of dishes 
for breakfast and for lunch which are for me unusual for you they are not unusual but for me they are unusual yeah. so tell me what is there today in front of me right now see this set dosa okay one is with uh, green chutney and one is red chutney okay here this bene butter this item most of the restaurant you might have not come across ha huh. this invented by us this udundu dosa udungu dosa udundu dosa udundu yeah udundu, udundu dosa okay this basically only of udan no rice in this oh and this is the neer dosa neer dosa the neer dosa oh. goes with this fresh coconut and jaggery ah sweet this is chutney. like a like what, what is inside the karanji kind of right right ah okay and uh, this kerala item kolkata okay this is a spicy one kolkata yeah and this in sweet also they prepare when okay. here restaurant we don't have okay and this is a jackfruit idli not Any idli normal. yeah this is a jackfruit leaves jackfruit leaf okay now tell me one thing this is a very funny way of serving this because we've got spoons but all the spoons are under the dosas yeah. why is it like this see the reason is just leave the dosa ah. you'll find moisture over here correct this moisture you get because of sad dosas which are flat and ah. thick which sticks to the plate correct so if you just bring it without the spoon below ah. you get a moisture below ah. which will make the item sloggy because Correct. the water will come to the dosa okay and while eating it will be sticky like so when you keep a spoon below the air passes that formation of steam this thing moisture won't be there super so we are i'm going to start eating because yeah. i'm hungry yeah. so this is the neer dosa start with this and i'm going to eat it with this coconut jaggery mixture which in marathi we call saran but i don't know what what is it called we in call it kanada? churan 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 so this is sweet the rice dosa with sweet mm oh this is you know what when the rice dosa slightly crisp here like this little crisp will become you no know, it is really nice yeah i purposely asked him to do that huh. see you can open the layers oh, now it's a long time still you will see yeah the layers are there you can open layers even after 15 minutes usually it gets stuck up very nice malaga pudi oh very nice spicy peppery Oh, it's just damn good. I'm going to quietly eat sweet, spicy, and sweet, and this both. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to try this. Set dosa, green chutney, and the red chutney. I like dosa yeah. which are little thick also. They are nice. Chutney, what do I, what do I eat this with? Chutney. So while eating the set dosa, uh -huh. when you are breaking it, mm -hmm. any difference you found? As in basically dosa, correct if it is proper up to the mark. Uh -huh. It should break with two or three fingers. Just up to two fingers. What? Two fingers. Like this, I'll break again. Wait. Okay. Just to break this finger, just to hold this is the finger. Yeah, yeah. See how it breaks. That is the quality. I like this green chutney. This is unusual. Is it traditional or is it unusual? No, no. We give it. Yeah. Customer demand we give. Otherwise, usually we give it red chutney. Hmm. I like this. And this dosa, if you want to have the real taste of the dosa itself. Hmm. Take a piece of dosa without anything. Oh, like this? Just eat it like that. Just by this corner, I'll take. Yeah. Udad dal, you said. Yeah. See what flavor you get in mouth. The dal sa saun is very nice. But this dosa, actually, you can eat without chutney sambar. If it is right up to the mark. It's very nice. It's also. Got right. this khatta pan and I'm going to take a little of this butter. 
This is a home item. Which you eating oh, now? Oh, this you make at home. So show, normal... show me any restaurant you are eating udon noodles. Udon noodles. Now dosa. you might have had it. No, I never had it. I honestly have never had it. Udon the dosa. Okay, and now this is a Kerala item you said. Yeah, this palkanda. What is inside here? No, that is prepared like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, little bit of coconut oil. Coconut oil inside. See, look in here. This goes with pickle and white butter. Oh, pickle and white butter. This pickle is very nice, huh? This is a South Indian pickle, Karnataka style. Not a drop of oil in that, and no preservatives. This is a home method prepared. And this is with jackfruit leaves. Yeah. Then the opening style is opposite leaves. Pull, pull it completely. All right. And just topple it. Idli made out of in made brand, with jackfruit leaves. In jackfruit leaves. Okay, let's try the bisi bere. Now, is it true? Is it true that the bisi bere was invented in this restaurant? Bisi bere bhat, yeah. as in in Mumbai at least. Yeah. Yeah. Fact. Started, yeah, not yeah, invented. Yeah. Started here. And as I, I want to tell you, oh. early when we started, convincing the customer with bisi bere bhat was a bit troublesome because we used to explain what is bisi bere bhat. So I named it as a summer bhat. It's a common name every customer. But community is, knows it. Is it that? Is it just sambar and rice together? No, no, no. no, no. And what? masala is totally different. Okay. Nothing connected with sambar. Ah. Papad. This is how you eat. Or you have to make powder and sprinkle on. And mix it. I love it. Very nice. Okay. I love shira. This is the strawberry. Yeah. Little strawberry there, yeah. See that? Very nice. What did you think about pineapple shira? How come all the South Indian restaurants are serving pineapple shira? Because the pineapple is usually available throughout the year, I can tell. Okay. So that's why. Yeah. But oh, we prepare nice. banana shira also. Hmm. Strawberry shira. What about that beetroot? We have root? prepared mango shira also. Jackfruit shira we have prepared. These are all seasonal. And I saw that beetroot ka thing. What is that? Yeah, beetroot? that is hello. I am getting that now. You are getting that? Okay. In the meanwhile, I am going to have some nice good South Indian filter coffee. I have become an expert. I can come and work in your restaurant. Huh? But the prices will go so, up if you start half, working here. Half, half. Come on. I have to increase my prices if you are working here. <laughs> no, 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 like Gudi Alva kind of recipe only, no? Yeah, the same method of preparation, same, but items change. I never thought of beetroot halwa. Very nice. My tongue will be red now. Nayak Sahib, thank you very much. I had such a good meal. It's going to be very difficult for me to choose between the Maharashtrian breakfast and this breakfast. But uh, I've had a great time. Thank you very much. And may you keep producing nice, wonderful South Indian food. And if you like this episode, please write to us, share, uh, comment, and come and eat and ask what to eat.